Hi. In this video, I will show you the Mutancy version 2. I am excited about it. Like it have so many uh, improvements and features that version 1 didn't have. So let's look at the internals. So this is the PCB and this is the Pi 3 and some shoulder buttons too. Mm, this is the charging module, this is the boost module and this is the switching circuit and this is the expansion port and this is the battery. So the first change I will talk about like now it can support uh, Pi 4 and also the second thing I am talking about like uh, the changes about the all the things in PCBs so the the expansion mm. port is now a lot smaller because I reduce I get rid of it the unused pins and also you can make a big expansion port like this way there is another port here you can see yeah and the second thing is like there is a, a stemma connector a stemma QT from Adafruit it's below this thing you can watch my the assembly of this mutancy version 2 video then you will see it there is a stemma connector okay now let's close it <laughs> now the second thing is the keyboard layout now it have five uh, rows and like 10 columns and this two for uh, enter and backspace and also these two shoulder buttons let's uh, the now as we have a battery so there is a power button so if you click this this will boot up this is, is the power LED and there is this second one uh, is for notification from Raspberry Pi and there is a third one which one will light up when you change the keyboard layout with clicking this one yeah also these buttons look small to so tiny that you can't press it but it, it's not it's very easy to like to go on and off the all the buttons are now SMD and uh, the thing I wanted to is the shoulder button I will show you the shoulder button see if I click this one it goes right if I click this it goes left by the way this is core stuff go left and right and if I change the layout now it switch to uh, symbols and this is the up and down button and this is left right yeah so this is the changes in the keyboard now the if you talk about the, the display now uh, uh, mutancy supports adafruit display it's like pi tft also because pi tft supports the brightness you can reduce the brightness via raspberry pi via software so it will be very convenient to use a uh, adafruit tft 
uh, or like Adafruit display, SPI display. And the biggest thing I would say the changes is the battery. So this is a uh, 205 milliamp power battery, but it's not 205 milliamp. It's like one amp, one or uh, 1.5 amp. So the mutancy consumes about like 600 milliamp. So it lasts for two hours around 600 so it's last for two hours so uh, I re in the new code uh, for the firmware I reduce the power consumption of the keyboard from 50 milliamp to uh, 25 uh, like that so 25 milliamp so now now the overall consumption is like 600 milliamp without anything attached to the expansion port yeah so so it lasts for like one hour with one amp sorry uh, 1.5 amp hour battery so it lasts for like around two hours also charging um, uh, this battery takes uh, three hours yeah you, you we have a USB-C for charging that's the greatest what can I say also uh, if you use a Raspberry Pi 4, so you also have a USB C, also charging for USB C. Yeah, I used the old part because I didn't have enough time to print out for Raspberry Pi 3. Uh, this is a part for Raspberry Pi 4, I just cut it out. So now, mutancy supports, I told you before, it supports Raspberry Pi 4. So this is uh, this plastic is uh, ABS yeah I will talk about uh, about the plastics the the 3d printing in next next or later video video also the color scheme I like it the blue and white Also the sliding mechanism, uh, before uh, this one, the version 1, there was a gap gap here, so it could just go like this way, all the way. So now with this version 2, there's two stops, I, I think you can see the blue, those, after you put the display top part, then this will... Uh, uh this will help you to like not go this the display part out of the body so it will stuck there also there's two stoppers there in the this part display bottom i think you can see these two so there is one for the uh, open position now it's right now clutched now this is for the closed position and you close it so it's closed now it will not drop see it will not drop also if you open position it will not drop so that's the good thing if you are typing like this some in the version one it the display part will like close will close because of the gravity but right now it won't drop it's good for like typing when you are typing it it will hold the position open position uh, also the the charging uh, uh, you can use any USB-C uh, adapter to charge it it doesn't matter also don't think about like this one is USB -C, uh, USB PD like power delivery it's not like that it will charge of uh, 1 amp less than 1 amp and I think 750 milliamp by this thing to charge the battery uh, you should use like good quality battery this is a non-branded like fake battery so you should use like samsung or lg 18650 here yeah. there is a battery cover uh, but i didn't print it out 
after a lots of trial and uh, error and fixing it uh, I get to this position it cost me a lot like for this project to continue developing it till the version 2 I think it's worth it because I like how it slides also closed also the usability of it uh, yeah yeah it's really good to use it's uh, like you can make the make expansion board for it expansion board for it there yeah you can make a GPS expansion board or like a gyro or like other stuff for this expansion board you can make two uh, types of expansion board one is goes here and another one is goes uh, the whole thing This is the all the Raspberry Pi four Raspberry Pi ports. Yeah. 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 I guess everyone will uh, print it out because it takes so many li so little parts to assemble this one. You can use a Raspberry Pi uh 3.5 inch this one is 4 inch display you can use a 3.5 inch display here it will be okay i guess like you have to print the another one which will take suitable for 3.5 inch per, uh, display yeah before finishing the video let's close it you will hold uh first you will close the raspberry pi Raspberry Pi Pro. After close, like uh, wait for two seconds, then click this button. Sorry, this button, the second one. Then it will close for uh, like three, three. After three seconds, I did it. Did it because like uh, making hold this uh, via software. It's uh, it's difficult for me because it needs uh, some expert in Arduino, C plus plus. I don't have that much of skill to like code it so if you want to help me out please co uh, comment me below also uh, it also helps like if you want to if you don't want to run the raspberry pi uh pi 4 but you want to run the run the circuit in the expansion board so if the X raspberry pi will close will shut down but the expansion board will get the power so you can run the power uh, expansion board via the battery so that's useful i guess i will upload more videos about it about some uh, more videos about like the printing material also the how much it took like how much it cost to make uh, to develop from version 1 to version 2 also some other videos like some other videos about like the new expansion board I'll make probably I will make some GPS and also X accelerometer or gyro combined also some ESP32 boards yeah thanks for watching please subscribe for more videos like that